Hi everybody, it's Diane from Do Wacky Arts and Crafts. So I've recently just purchased a whole batch of journaling items, um, a lot of stickers, a few washies, um, yeah, and some fantastical odds and sorts. So I thought I'd just show them all with you and yeah. This is from All Things Stationery and I'm very happy I've met them and I think this was my biggest purchase I've ever done. So shall we go through it? Yay! So first things first, I bought some stickers. I have not used these stickers as yet but they are such pretty little flower stickers and there's only one sheet inside this so I'm keeping this, you know, sparingly for when I need to use them. And yeah, so I just put that on the back of one of these page things, which I have purchased a whole bundle of 30 odd pages, and they're all different types. I think there's like two of each page there, and there's a whole batch of them that are inside this pack so they are all about a5 size so very nice little pages they are one-sided as you can see but really good quality stuff then I got a whole batch of scrapbooking paper I think there's about 10 different pages in here we weren't allowed to pick the pages we basically this was just like a potluck you just got whatever was in the pack and there are some pretty good pages in here I have I'm not sure if I've used a page as yet I can't remember we'll have a look through that then I've decided to also get some of these dictionary collection series booklets there is two of them a G and H and C and D so they've got really really weird funky little meanings there so um <laughs> i mean just come on that's like really toilet paper manufacturers are facing a great challenge in promoting its sales like i guess that's one way to put out the word i guess so I've got two of them. I don't know how many pages are in each booklet, but I'm guessing there's quite a few of them. I got some cartoon washi masking tape, um, and there are the sizes there. Really, really good quality, and um, yes, there might be uh, it might be a little on the roll, but it's actually really good quality it is really really beautiful the images are really really well done um, I'm not sure if you can actually see but there's basic the basic images of what each washi holds so there are 10 of them <coughs> in each well in one pack and yeah, I decided to get myself a collection like that. Then we, I re-bought, I love these. These were my favorite and I had to re-get them again. They like little stamps, little faux stamps, but with fairies on. Absolutely adorable. They have different colors, you know, so you can use them in different types of themes and colors and settings you know and I have purchased this before so this is my second time round that I'm purchasing this and again I am not disappointed I absolutely love these little faux fairy stamps they are absolutely such a cute addition to my collection of stickers they are stickers as well so you know very nicely easy um to put on to your page then we have some under the sea 
little I don't have anything under the sea so I just decided to buy a few under the sea stickers and you know we'll make something with that and they were really really cute and they looked lonely and I really thought okay well might as well get some under the sea type of stickers they do have a white um, background and that they are stickers but yes absolutely love them there are two of each I think there's about 50 stickers in here I'm not 100% sure but yes very very nice stickers and the artwork on them very very detailed this um, so just so that a uh, disclosure I have used some of the items in this pack already I'll show you some of my artwork that I've done this I think was the most disappointing out of everything and that was mainly because I was under the impression this was a sticker only to find out that the print is actually on a piece of plastic and the sticker is clear so the sticker isn't actually the print it is just a blank sticker based thing and the print is stuck on a piece of plastic so if you want to use this it's best to rather just um, glue this in as is or uh, perhaps stick it in with your adhesive roller glue sticky thing so my most disappointing out of the entire batch that I bought was this and I really and I mean the pictures are really really good the shapes are really really well done it's just it was a bit disappointing just to find out this wasn't an actual sticker this was just the plastic <sighs> um then I bought two sets of these little people uh, stickers because you can never have too many of them and I love the different personalities that they show and reflect and I'm sort of running low at home so this was quite a nice purchase to get a whole batch I think there was 10 in each pack and they were really really cheap so I bought two packs I got some smileys this was my freebie little gift from her um, got some smileys you can always do with extra smileys somewhere this was new which I also now purchased this is just paper but this is a size A6 and the prints on these are absolutely phenomenal like beautiful beautiful prints and especially when you're working in a vintage or you're going with that vintage theme these here would go absolutely amazing in your journal so each page is different I think there's 15 pages in here if I'm not mistaken and they were actually really cheap and absolutely not disappointed at all <clears throat> this was also this is also paper one-sided and this I thought was very nice it's like a very retro gothic theme and most of them all have the ex libris um, uh, saying on it and I mean each picture is different you know um, different variations different writings fonts absolutely amazingly well printed I absolutely adore this I really think this was very well done and this is one of my best buys so I'm absolutely happy with this batch they are quite small, I mean, in taking into consideration with my palm, 
they really are pretty small pieces but they're nice little gap fillers you know in your book then i bought a time travel box set which contains papers and stickers and all little fun goodies so i'm not going to go through each thing individually but i thought i'd just show you a few of them so some of the stickers look like little stamps and stuff and there's like some old rail um railway or i don't know railway type cards and tickets and just a random picture it's pretty cute so there are some paper items inside here there are some stickers in here there's quite a few stickers in here um, as you can see most of them like are all stamp like so yeah and then you've got your different images of different places around the world it's a sticker that's a sticker and then you've got like this which is a vellum type paper um, this way around very very nice Uh, so it's funny does anybody want a rain check rain check <laughs> so yeah and then you get some papers images and book things and stuff maps so yeah this was quite a fun pack I think there's 30 pieces in total in no 60 pieces sorry there's possibly 60 pieces in there. Mm. Yeah, 60 pieces, I think, inside this pack. Very, very good price. Definitely worth it. And I absolutely love the little packaging that it came in. So it's perfectly already, you know, in its own little packaging. Then... We have some stickers of just some random jars. I think there were 10 of these in a pack. And you couldn't choose. They were just random. You would get random. They're large little jars um, with like a matte like finish on them. And yeah, they are stickers. So yeah very very nice i thought i could do something with them they actually looked pretty cool i bought two adhesive rollers don't need to show you further what that is these are little stickers you know little pointy stickers all in earthy colors earthy browns and beiges and that so yeah, thought this would be very nice for vintage themes. There's about uh, 10 pages of them in there and they are all different sizes and different types of circles. So, very nice. <coughs> this is a vintage lady set. So there's some pictures, there's some stickers, so random stuff, literally just random stuff. I mean... There is really just random stuff in here. It's like really odd. So, yeah. And then it's actually a really nice one. It's not bad either. And then some more vellum pieces. Uh, I think. Look at how beautiful she is, hey? That's a, such a beautiful picture. And this one too. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. And then some paper. 
Yeah, I think there was about 20 pieces in here or something. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, this was a whole pack. Vintage lady pack. Bought. Uh, this was a 60 piece just papers. So this has got like two more ripped pages on there. And it looks like ripped pages, but it's actually just one block and it's just printed with the different colors and that. So if you're working with a specific color theme, this is actually quite a nice little uh, palette of colors just to have with you so that you can work in terms of different colors and themes. And yeah. Then I bought a sticker book sticker travel book guide there's 30 pages there are three stickers on each page and yes i may have used a couple of them already um but these are all pink based so yeah three little stickers and yeah I'll show you what that looks like in the book so nice thick book 30 pages of three stickers each so you get 90 stickers in there <coughs> then purchased a vintage label vintage and roses themed sticker pack so there are six pages of six or six sheets of different stickers on which actually I'm going to put like this so that you can see better no. actually I don't even think you need to have that on but okay yeah so these are actually very nice I have bought a set before but it was a different um, environmental set this one specifically I thought I'd get some different types of stickers going as well so as to just have a bit of a variety you know sometimes it's good to have some variety in life yes yeah, some more under the under the water themed or under the ocean under the sea themed stickers also six sheet um, sticker set <coughs> it's a really really pretty Yeah. And nice when you were doing some art journaling or even normal junk journaling, you can add them in as an extra. Then I bought a uh what was this? An astrology slash uh yeah, astrology basically an astrology set. You know, it's all different things. These are little tags. So you can see, wait, maybe this side. Yes, there you can see there's the hole that's punched. Uh, if I move a little back there, you can see it. It's better there. So these are little tags. See the Pisces sign. This is a sticker with the moon. This is paper, the mountain glaciers, so astrology and stars and signs and just, yeah, everything to do with your stars and your signs. This is a sticker. So what I like, I think these are the three that are like 
card, uh, postcards. So this is like an actual postcard, but not a postcard. It's on a cardboard thick type page. Um, and it looks like it should be a postcard. It's just, just a bit smaller than a postcard, but it's like really, it's really, really pretty. Same thing as this. Also nice and thick. It's also like on a cardboard. And I believe this should also have been like a postcard type thing. Again, also another one looks like a postcard. And yeah, definitely. This is just some paper. Some different astrology in this. Yeah. I can't think of the words now. So, um, yeah, really, really pretty. This one would be like a nice for like a Halloween themed page. Don't you think? With the skull and the hands, the all seeing hand, and yeah. <coughs> Here we go. There's also one that would be good. Now, this is actually a sticker. But they're not individual stickers. So, actually, if you wanted to, you could actually cut them out and make individual little stickers. Which is what I'm planning on actually doing <laughs> with this. Because, yeah. I didn't know there were sticker sheets until I actually... You know, I tested it out. I quite like this one also. I love that good morning sign. I mean, that's so freaking cool. With the earth and the sun. I quite like that as well. That's really, really pretty. There's earth, Neptune. So, so that's also a sticker sheet. And then this here is also a sticker sheet. So you could also cut these out individually. And stick them maybe on little cards and put them in as little extra tags into your junk journal if you want it. There's some more moon and phases of the moon and all seeing eye. That's a sticker, I think. Night and day. Yep. Yeah. There we go. So, yeah. All very nice little nice little collection set. Then lastly, I bought extra washi, individual washies. So this one firstly is a tag sticker like thing each one is an individual little sticker that pops out I did actually unroll a specific one here so that I could show you if I can get it just to lay still but as you can see I have used two or three of the stickers and yeah so you can take these off individually and use them throughout your work actually really really good and useful quite a nice batch of it so i'm very happy with this then i bought a van gogh landscape type washi really really decent amount of washi look on there and then if you see when it's rolled out this is basically what it looks like so it's the same picture over and over and over but I mean I thought it's actually really pretty and something unique to have in your collection then we've got this which is like a mosaic type thing but what's nice is this is like a 
sticker base so you can cut out a piece and that and it peels off as a sticker see peels off as a sticker okay now to get this part off there and I'll sort that out no no same goes for this also um, nice pattern and that also a individual sticker like thing it's washi tape but it does actually have like a see there it's got a sticker back pa backing on so you can actually stick it on somewhere proper so it's a nice pattern and these two came as a set I don't have something like this so I thought well why not might as well spoil myself so overall I am very happy with everything that I have received everything is just all over the place right now so yeah the only thing like I said the only disappointment I had was that one with the where is that box there that little box there that was my only disappointment but other than that I'm very happy with the entire collection and yeah let me show you two of my artworks that I've already done I'm sure most of you remember this from the junk journal unboxing we did so I've been doing some work in between and just been doing some stuffies all around and yeah uh, it's not for me I quite enjoy this it's a little bit of art journaling and it's something different and yeah but the this is what I had done with the goodies that I have received from all of this that we have just gone through I have done a full page like this and I did another page another day see there what I mean is this is the actual plastic it's not a sticker so yeah i had to glue it on with the adhesive roller to get the pattern because i actually wanted the pattern and yeah i'm really disappointed about that but no use crying over spilled milk what's happened has happened and it is now done in kaputski and then some more yeah that's everything that I've received I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing um, thank you to all things stationery for my amazing amazing new goodies I am seriously so thrilled about everything yeah it is really it was worth it it was seriously worth it it was my present to myself basically and I'm very happy about this. Anyway, I hope everybody has a good and fantastic day further. Look after yourself, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.